minutes, 30 seconds, and counting the ground service structures and umbilicals are beginning to separate. T minus 20 seconds and counting. The launch command has now been issued to the vehicle. Start. Start. T minus 15 and counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And ignition. Liftoff. Lift off of Kevin Ford, Evgeny Tarokin, and Oleg Novitsky as they head on a two day trip to the International Space Station. Thirty seconds into the flight, good first stage performance. The Soyuz is delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It is burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. seconds into the flight. Velocity is 1,100 miles per hour already. Remember, still good. Eight seconds, all parameters are nominal. Everything's fine on board. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Everything looking green. The crew's reporting that everything is fine. Seconds, thrusters are nominal. We heard alarm. Inaudible. But everything is okay on board. One minute, 54 seconds into the flight, the escape tower has been jettisoned. 120 seconds. The four strap-on boosters have now been jettisoned. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is now traveling about 3,350 miles per hour. Nominal. Two minutes, 38 seconds. The launch shroud has now been jettisoned. The rocket's altitude now 48 miles high. Jettison confirmed. There's a view inside the hippopotamus there up above the crew. That is Evgeny Terelkin there on the far right-hand side. Oleg Novitsky, who is the commander there at the bottom left-hand side, just out of view as NASA astronaut Kevin Ford. Parameters are nominal. Remember, still good. Three minutes, three seconds into the flight. The spacecraft now traveling at a speed of 4,700 miles per hour. The core stage of the vehicle is performing as expected. It is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. It has a single engine with four fuel chambers, providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. The stage will continue to burn until the four minute, 43 second mark. The Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique coming up. The third stage will ignite while the second stage is still burning. This is why the Soyuz has an open area in between the second and third stages. Three minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. The crew and the ground teams reporting that all the systems are green. Now crossing the four minute mark. 240 seconds, all parameters are nominal. Everything is fine on board. 250 seconds, pitch your rotation nominal, four members still good.
4 minutes 30 seconds into the flight. 270 seconds. Control system parameters are nominal. Everything's okay on board. Two hundred and ninety seconds. The third stage has ignited that the second stage is now shutting down. Separation confirmed. Everything's fine on board. And we have second stage separation confirmed. Now five minutes and seven seconds into the flight. Seconds, mission nominal. There's about four minutes of powered flight remaining. The Soyuz now being propelled by the single engine of its third stage. This engine is providing thirty tons of thrust and will burn for a little more than four minutes. Three hundred and twenty seconds. All parameters are nominal. Everything is fine on board. Three hundred thirty seconds. Stage three thrusters are nominal. Five minutes forty-five seconds into the flight of Novitsky, Tarelkin, and for the uh, third stage is performing as expected, as we look live inside the Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow. Now crossing the six minute mark. Three hundred and sixty. Pitch your rotation nominal, everything's okay on board. Three hundred and eighty seconds. Stage three thrusters are nominal. Six minutes and 30 seconds. These performance calls continue from the team watching over the Soyuz as it uh, launches this crew into orbit. Everything is working as expected. Everything reported nominal. Again, that is Evgeny Tarelkin there on the far right-hand side. Oleg Novitsky there at the bottom left-hand side. Just out of view is Kevin Ford. Everything's fine on board. The hippopotamus again that is uh, there was given to the crew by Novitsky's daughter. That is uh, the first test to uh, find out once the crew has reached orbit, whenever that hippopotamus starts to fly. 120 seconds. Beach. Seven minutes, ten seconds. Everything reported normal. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight, the vehicle now traveling 13,500 miles per hour. 150 seconds, mission nominal, everything is fine on board. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These stored commands, called Time Tagged Command, allow many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored within them. Under a minute to go. Inaudible. Everything's fine on board. Mission nominal. Same on board. Everything is nominal. Everything is nominal on board. 620. Inaudible. We have third stage cutoff and separation confirmed. The single liquid-fueled engine has shut down and has dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Our congratulations. The third stage is performing an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. We are happy that the launch is okay. And we have confirmation of spacecraft separation and solar array deployment. Station. 
Great, congratulate you. The Soyuz capsule and crew inside are now safely in orbit. Okay, thank you very much. Kazbek, Mission Control Moscow. This is Kazbek 1. Again, all antennas and solar arrays on the Soyuz vehicle have been deployed. We've got confirmation from both the Russian and NASA teams. We are so this ride into space by Kevin Ford, Evgeny Tarelkin, and Oleg Novitsky. Very, very smooth this morning after our liftoff at 5.51 a.m. Central Time. Hello.